Hello everyone, a leak code of the day. Today our problem is leak code 844, backspace string compare. Uh, this is a Google high frequency, high frequent question. As we can see, Google has got this question a lot of time recently. Um, so let's first look at the question. Given two strings S and T, uh, return whether they are equal or not. So here, uh, pound sign means a backspace character. So let's look at this example. S is AB pound sign C and T is AD pound sign C. So here pound sign can delete one character before it. So the result of S after applying this pound sign, uh, both S and T equals AC. So they are the same and we output true. Uh, let's look at this example again. Uh, S equals A B pound pound sign and T equals C pound sign D pound sign. Uh, so after using this backspace, um, both S and T are empty, so they are still the same. Uh, and if, uh, let's say for example, for S is A pound sign C and T is B, so S is becomes C because A is deleted but T is B, so they are not the same. So we all put false. Uh, uh, so it sounds easy, right? So let's think of how to do it. Um, so the first uh, solution we can think of is to use like use stack. Uh, in Python, it's just list. So basically, we rebuild our uh, stack based on the pound sign, right? Because uh, this pound sign always apply from behind to front, from end to front. Uh, so let's look at the solution. Uh, basically, we create two lists or two stacks. So remain s equals empty uh, empty list and the remain t is an empty list. Then for each element in the string s, if it's a pound sign and we have something in our remain s, then we just pop the we just pop to delete the latest element. Else if s is not pound sign, we append the current element into the list. So we do the same trick for remain t. So basically after those two manipulations remain s should be all the elements after applying pound sign for s and so is remain t and of course we just return whether they are the same we just uh, find whether they are equal so this is straightforward and the time complexity for this algorithm is um, o, big O m plus n uh, big O m or so it's linear, right? Because we just eat through all the elements, and uh, and the uh, space complexity is big O m plus n, and m is the length of s, and uh, n is the length of t. Because we create uh, additional two lists here. Um, so if we look at the follow up here, it asks us to uh, solve it in big O n time. So that's okay but with big O1 space. So let's think about how we can do that. Actually, uh, so the point here is previously we used a stack to store all the remaining elements, but actually we don't need to store all of them. We only need two pointers to point to the position to be compared. Um, so let's look at this solution now. Uh, so the uh, time complexity, we still uh, need to remain it to big O M. Actually, this is easy because we always iterate through, iterate through all the elements of S and T. But the difference part, uh, difference here is we need to create two pointers, I and J. And we also need two count counters to count how many pounds we found. So basically the idea is we start from end to front and check 
which uh, whether we found something different. And if we see a pound sign, then we have to use the apply this back pound sign to delete some of the elements until this docs, uh, until this backs, uh, backspace is used or our list is already over. Let's say we our index already uh, already got like outside of this 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 range. So. Uh, so of course, uh, like I said, we create two in the, uh, two pointers here. I equals length of s minus one because we start from end to front, and we also got two point two counters to count how many pounds currently we have. Uh, count one is for s, and count two is for t, and we create a while loop. While uh, while we still have elements in s or we have elements in J uh, in T, and then here is this part is this while loop is to do with when we see a pound sign or currently we have a have some count sign in our count. So if we see that, then our count count one add one number. Uh, we add one to the count one. Else, if count one is larger than zero. That means we have some pound sign unused, right? Then we just then we just delete that that the current element and make the count one minus one. And after this while loop, of course, we minus one. So for this while loop, every time we see a pound sign, we will make sure we use this pound sign, or we get out of the range of this current string. So we did the we did the same thing for uh, string t, and after doing this, if it's already if i and j if either one of them is like smaller than zero, let's say minus one, we just return whether they are like both they are after applying this pound sign both of them are empty or not. So we return i whether i equals j. And then after, uh, if, if if not this case, if S I does not equal to T J, that means after applying those the current manipulation either with pound sign or not, the current elements is different. Now of course it's false because there's no way those two strings to be the same, right? And after doing this, we move on to the next element to be considered. So we I minus one and J minus one. So after iter through, iterating through all this while loop, if nothing happens, if we never recur a return, then of course we have we have confidence that we have iterated through all the elements and we find all of them are the same. So basically we will return true. That's it for this question. Uh, if you think this video helps, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.